Hey everybody, welcome back to Plugin Tut, your home for handcrafted WordPress plugin tutorials. And today we're gonna to take a look at how you can save your cart abandonment rate. So if you're doing uh, digital product sales, consulting on an e-commerce website, and the person who comes to the site puts the item in the car, starts to check out, but then leaves the site to watch a Netflix show or watch uh, something on YouTube. They leave the site, they abandon the cart. How do we save uh, that sale to get your e-commerce store, more revenue, more customers, that kind of thing? We're gonna take a look at this app called Jilt, uh, jilt.com. It's actually put out by uh, a leading WordPress plugin provider for the WooCommerce space. The company name is called Skyverge. They recently launched this. Uh, this SaaS app called Jilt. And we're gonna take a look at it today. Uh, you can see right here on the homepage, save lost sales, increase revenue. Jilt helps e-commerce stores recover uh, lost sales due to car abandonment. And you come to the site, you can take a tour, you can understand some of the technology behind it, some of the features behind it. It is a fairly new app, so we're gonna dive right in to uh, using this app for easy digital downloads, which is uh, a digital products e-commerce suite for, uh, for WordPress. And uh, we're gonna take a look at integrating that with a site, really basic level, really just a quick uh, heads up tutorial on how to get this all running. So for the jilt.com pricing, it's free for 14 days. You get a 14 day free trial just to connect it to your WordPress site, see if it works, uh, see if you can start recovering some of these abandoned carts. And then after that, it's a flat $29.99 a month for uh, up to $1,000 worth of uh, recovered uh, abandoned carts, right? So if you sell less than $1,000 a month and you're using Jilt to get people to come back and, and buy stuff from you, but you're not exceeding the $1,000 a month through that, uh, you, you, don't get, you don't charge any more, right? But above $1,000, for every $1,000 is a 5% uh, fee on top of that. But again, the, the idea behind a service like this is it's an, it's an automated process. So Jilt itself is sending out these emails uh, that you customize and configure and saying, hey, please come back or here's a discount for you know that abandoned cart that you had, that kind of thing. And you set that all up with Jilt and that allows you to have this, you know, another piece of your marketing automation. It's sort of uh, anybody who's in the e-commerce space, a lot of folks are doing a lot of email uh, automation to get people coming back, learning about their products, that kind of thing. Jilt is in, in that same uh, in that same realm where this automated abandonment email will go out and sort of drip out to these people who have left your cart. In this example here, I'm using jilt.com, uh, the SaaS app, and I'm using it for uh, easy digital downloads. I have an easy digital downloads, uh, super quick store that I built with one or two products and I connected uh, Jilt to that. And we're gonna take a look at how this, uh, how this sort of works. So when I have my cart here, or this is my first product, what we have here is just a, an ebook that I've, I've priced at $97. And then in this example, what we'll do is we'll check out, we'll try to check out with that and see um, you know, how this all works. So I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna go into incognito mode so that uh, it's tracking this as a new purchase. So I've just put the product right on my homepage and you'll see here it's $97. And I'm gonna go ahead and click purchase. That's gonna add it to my easy digital downloads cart and I'm gonna go check out. So behind the scenes right now, Jilt is sort of tracking all of, uh, all of this action that's happening. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in, I'm just gonna put in a test uh, email. So I'm gonna go matt at studio.com. First name, Matt, last name, Madeiras. And uh, in fact, I think I might only be on the testing gateway, which goes to PayPal, but let's just go ahead and hit purchase. I actually don't think it's fully set up uh, for this scenario yet, so it probably, think for a little bit. Yeah, it's going to say that the purchase can't be completed. There's a problem here. I haven't fully set up PayPal with this example, easy digital downloads install, but it doesn't matter because Jill has already scooped up this information and put it into my database. Let's take a look at the customer tracking. And you can see that when I click on customers, it's already scooped up that Matt at Slocum Studio email. So this is a great way to begin to capture these emails of people who have typed in um, their email into your checkout process. So again, now that you're going to follow up with them and how do you follow up with them uh, using the jilt.com app? Well, you come into the campaign section and if I go to create a new campaign, I'm just going to call it campaign three. I'm going to create that campaign. What it's going to do is it's going to give you these three emails uh, as sort of a templated, in, in some sort of, sort of templated fashion here. So it says the campaign has been created successfully with three emails scheduled at one hour, one day, and two days. 
uh, following industry best practices. So what Jilt.com, and again, Skyverge, the, the parent company behind this, they have a ton of experience in e-commerce, so they know all of these metrics. They know the metrics that work in this scenario. So what they've said is, look, uh, in, in an hour, the person who left your website will go and get this email that says, hey, come back. Uh, and in this example, you can see it says, Teresa, did you forget something? And you know that's the customer's name and say, did you forget something? And when you go into this email, I'm gonna go right into the preview. Um, it's gonna say, you left your shopping cart uh, without completing your purchase. Just a bit ago, in your cart, you left the following products, and this is just placeholder products. What it's actually gonna do is show your easy digital downloads product and say, or WooCommerce product, because it works for that as well. It's gonna show that item and say, hey, you forgot that in your cart. Uh, the total is, you know, whatever. Right now it says 209.70. Complete your purchase. Somebody's gonna click that link. Hopefully, somebody will click that link, go back to the cart, and finish the checkout. Now, you can do all kinds of sort of marketing um, and promotional. Uh, strategies behind this where you could say refer a friend and we'll give you a discount or you could just flat out give a discount for coming back uh, but don't don't forget this is just one hour into this uh, this mock campaign as you move along here it says we're still holding uh, the cart for you one day later and you can adjust all this stuff and so by default everything is set to don't send and you can send automatically when you're ready so you can go in and tweak these emails you can add new emails you can remove these emails you can do all that kind of customization with the email campaign um, and the minimum that you can send it is 15 minutes. So the, the minimum you know, distance from somebody leaving to now uh, is 15 minutes. So if you're doing some kind of super one day only sale, <clears throat> you might create a campaign for that uh, particular uh, sales cycle and say, you know, the, the quickest you can send out an email is 15 minutes and say, hey, come back before this ends. You have only today to save on this item. So you can do something like that. So it's very detailed. Uh, and it's very, uh, it's very customizable, right? So you can control all this stuff and launch people into different campaigns. And as you, um, as you set these up, you'll start to see you have an outbound email section, which will allow you to see the emails that are going out, the ones that have, have already gone out, and then you could filter by campaign. So it's, it's very granular in terms of tracking and reporting and that kind of thing. You could check your, uh, the orders that have been abandoned, the orders that have been recovered, and obviously in my case, uh, there haven't been any uh, abandon, abandons yet because I haven't, <laughs> I mean, I've recovered yet because I haven't recovered any, uh, because I am running on just a mock, um, you know, a mock example here. Now it works with easy digital downloads or WooCommerce, um, at least in the WordPress, uh, in the WordPress world right now. And it was very easy to set up. I'm not going to show the secret key that I had set up, but all I had to do was, uh, install their, um, their Jilt, plugin for easy digital downloads, went to the configuration screen and I just drop in a secret key and that just connects me to the Jilt app. And again, you can connect unlimited amounts of sites to the Jilt, your Jilt app and you can track a whole bunch of sites. So if you are an internet marketer and you have multiple courses or products throughout, uh, throughout the internet, you can track uh, all of those in one site. Or if you're a consultant, uh, a great way to sort of keep tabs on all of your uh, sites that you consult for to help them increase revenue to their sites. But again, I just had easy digital downloads and I added their Jilt add-on for easy digital downloads, which is in the WordPress repo, both for uh, easy digital downloads and WooCommerce. And you can install that and get that configured up. It takes literal minutes. You just sign up uh, like every other SaaS app, uh, name, email address, password. It sends you an email to authenticate and you're off to the races. You drop in that secret key and you're good to go. There's nothing else for you to configure in the back end. It's doing it all for you. Again, for 29 bucks, you can recover up to $1,000 a month. That's pretty good. I mean, if you're recovering $1,000 worth of products that would have otherwise left only for $30, I say that's a pretty good bargain uh, at, you know, in my humble opinion. Give Jill a look, uh, save lost sales, increase revenue. I don't think you can really go wrong. You get 14 days to try it out, connect it to your site uh, and see if you can start saving uh, some revenue. If you like videos like this, it's plugintut.com, youtube.com slash plugintut. Give it a thumbs up. If you like it, share it with friends and family. It really helps us get found.